Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is the day that we switch the front end on the RS to a JDM front end. So uh, go over the front end a little bit. So um, the front bumper is uh, most likely a replica C West front bumper. I picked this up on Craigslist for like 50 bucks. Uh, the hood, which is actually the most expensive part of the front end conversion, it's a, uh, it's mostly like a, looks like a stage 21 uh, fiberglass. I actually paid a lot more than anything else for this hood. Um, it came with some like weird hood pins. I took them out already. Uh, we will, I don't know, I'm actually debating whether to seal the holes with some fiberglass or to just uh, do like an arrow latch or a different kind of uh, latching mechanism. Um, over here we have the fenders, so the fenders actually not in the greatest of shape, so there is some some peeling here, I don't know if you guys could tell, they're actually not peeling, like cracking, I guess there's body filler underneath, these parts were actually on the race car, at least these fenders, um, I got these uh, side markers, these didn't come with a, with a fender, I actually got those from H Motors Online out in California, so uh, in the future, after we install everything, line up the body, uh, the front end at least, we will be uh, kind of working on the bodywork and uh, see our options as to um, we're gonna, you know, paint them, wrap them. I don't know, keep them the same color, have the car look in a bunch of colors. Because at the end of the day, it is gonna be a race car. I guess uh, let's start working on it. Alright guys, so I just finished taking off all the stuff that was here on the front end. I uh, took off, uh, there's a harness that runs underneath here, took that off. I uh, took off the bumper support, it's held on by uh, two 12s. On each side I thought there were 14s. Um, and uh, I think that's it. I'm doing the T bracket which means it's just going to be like from here, here, and on this side. So then, and then a cut like around here somewhere, around here and another one here-ish. So, um, I guess I'll uh, mark up the spot wheels I need to do and the spots where I need to cut, do some measurement and uh, I guess I'll start working on it.
guys, I'll tell you what happened. So I tried drilling it out. Um, after using that uh, spot weld remover on one of them, this one here, let's just say it didn't work out. So I uh, got the, the grinder, started cutting it out of square, but this is some flimsy that actually, as you can see, it broke all this off, which isn't a big deal because with the JDM front conversion, actually the headlights take off. I think it's this whole portion. So I didn't really care about that, but well, yeah, I didn't care about that. So that's that. So I actually cut off a little more than I cut off off of here less than I needed or yeah, less than I needed. So this is actually gonna go, uh, the other one's gonna actually lay over this cause there's gonna be some overlap. I really hope so at least. I really, really hope so. So that's gonna cover that. Um, same thing here, I cut uh, higher up because I need the other one to bump into this one. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely messed up, but we'll make it work. I definitely cut off more because I was measuring, I measured this lower, I was supposed to measure this higher. That That's unfortunate. Well, it looks, looks like I need to do an oil pan in the future. Sure, why not? All right, uh, same thing here. So now for this part, I actually have no option because this goes so far higher. I actually can't, I actually need this here so I can't kind of hack it up like I did there. I, I don't like hacking things up, but sometimes there's no other way to do it than to hack things up. Sometimes, not always, but yeah. So, so yeah, so this I'm gonna have no option but to drill out. I'm actually, I have bigger drill bits. My drill sucks, but I'm just gonna drill right through this just for simplicity's sake. And then uh, I gotta put the he headlights on, but I'm pretty sure uh, this comes off here. So I might have to cut this off here and then drill this out here. But then I made a line here so where it'll match into the other one. So that's where we're going to next. Right now I'm gonna put the other rest support on to kind of line it up and see how bad I kind of screwed things up. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to it. Alright guys, so uh, I think we're uh, done cutting for now at least. Um, so I kind of, I regret kind of doing all the hackery I did over there because look at this. I mean, this part didn't cut off regardless, but on this side when I did things, the better method, look how, look how nice things are. Look how easy and straight this line is right here. Kinda, and you know, if I gotta cut down, I cut down whatever it is. But, you know, on this side, I did kinda mess up this thing here, which isn't a big deal, but I guess I'll, this will be easier to align once, um, once I put the other stuff on. So right now, I'm gonna put the other the JDM front T-bracket on, and I know for a fact I'm gonna have to actually extend these things up, so I'm actually gonna have to cut part of the piece I already cut off and weld it here and then weld them there again so that's not what I want to do and I, that was my 
my mistake so that's just something I have to fix and I'll make sure it's nice and strong and double welded and you know I'll grind down grind down the the welds and make sure they're nice and clean and fix this up make sure this is uh looks a lot better than it does now same thing here I got actually got to cut off this little piece here and I'm just gonna go off and square this I'm pretty sure we have to cut a line here for the other headlights too same thing here and um, I don't know about this here so I'll leave this for here worst case scenario I'll just cut this here you know this here a line through here and this whole piece will come out same thing a line through here a line here and this piece will come out so I guess let's work on that next guys so you guys saw what I did I just cut the brackets back off of this uh, rat support here this is the original USDM one so I, I cut the brackets that I uh, I don't know why I did that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them back I took off the bracket back here that this one doesn't have and the bracket up here that this one doesn't have either so and as you can tell if you match them up see the holes match up three you know one two three well this has these two but then this little piece here literally what we have is this here is different and this here is different so so at least this base is the same except for this here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back up here kind of get it lined squared up and line it and uh, get it welded again and then and then I'll cut it again but this time cut it so there's a nice overlap so I'm thinking an overlap of uh, like I don't know is this I don't know is this too much of an overlap I think this is I mean maybe I'll I'll shade this down a little bit here but it'll be very close to there so yep so I'll get that done it's gonna be in the next video where we weld this up and then finally align this but for now what we're gonna finish doing is I'm gonna take off the rest of the front end the hood fenders and the fender liners because that's actually part that doesn't belong there because uh, as many of you guys know if you guys are into Hondas the fender liners have to come out they actually there's a wheel well housing specific for this conversion which a lot of people don't do and I don't plan on doing it because I'm gonna run a much heavier tire and I'll probably lower the front end a little bit more in the future so uh, we'll see what you know what comes with that but for right now yeah I'm gonna take everything off and put everything else on and then I'm gonna load all the USDM stuff back on and take it to my storage until it sells. So let's get to it. guys so some something bad happened well last clip I was putting on the hood 
I was cleaning up the, you know, the studs on the hood and bolted them on. I was gonna go switch batteries, and then as I was uh, going into the house, I heard some cracking come out. The hood actually fell with the wind. I didn't put the prop up for some reason. The hood fell, and as you can see on this bracket, it's bent. So the hood actually cracked, but because it bent, so it has a weird stud inside has a, a different mechanism than anything else instead of having bolts go in it has bolts coming out you just put you know you put wash um, nuts on the outside so just like the the bracket over the hinge is also folded so I'm actually gonna have to run to the parts store get some fiberglass resin like a small little kit and then uh, put this on like on a vise some sort and fill it in there and then put this all the way down so it, it uh, kind of heels hopefully 100% so what I'm gonna do right now is uh I want to put something on top of that car so none of that's exposed I'm gonna run to the parts store come back and do that so I'll catch you guys when I get back got things going here so I put a uh, super glue all inside the crevice that that popped out maybe you guys can really tell but so that put super glue on it and then uh, got the C clamp on with two pieces of uh, you know, two little pieces of wood I had laying around so then what I did is I uh, put the glue all around inside and then I just kind of squeeze this down says I'll uh, leave it down for like 10 15 seconds but because this is fiberglass and it is a lot stronger I'm just gonna leave it like this for uh, I guess next hour or so I'll put change the front end on the car put the other one away and uh, wrap up the video so hopefully by the end of this video we can put this back on the car so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep on removing the front end off of this and putting the new one on so let's get to it Alright guys, uh, so we are we're losing daylight. The sun is actually pretty much set. So uh, got a couple more minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish taking off this fender and then just slap everything on real quickly. Uh, as you can see, I uh, I mounted the 
radiator support i'm just gonna bolt it where it goes bolted just so it's in place and i can put the hood down and everything and hopefully the bumper so gotta hurry up so here i go Right, guys so as you can tell the sun set pretty quickly it's only been like uh, I don't know 10 minutes or so but I'm gonna start cleaning everything up uh, so let's see the car real quickly what we've done and uh, what we still have left to do so as you can see both the front fenders are on so this is the uh, this passenger side pretty good like I said, the fenders are pretty much, they're like decent. They have a little scratches and stuff, but the car's obviously it's gonna have to be matched one way or another. So that's gonna have to be done. So brass support, it's on there, just uh, bolted in. Nothing sturdy, just m mounting wise. So we could stuff, you know, have stuff on there. This side, as you guys can see, it took me forever because how tight it is. It's like, I don't know, a foot or so here and I had to lay down to remove the side skirts and I missed a couple of the bolts I mean a couple of the plastic clips and then I found it at the end so that took a while there so this fender's on it needs a uh, lining up uh, I gotta work on that tomorrow um, still gotta put the hood on and the bumper and the bumper bar the bumper yeah the bumper support you know there's a rat support bumper support goes right here so I took the the clamps off the hood and uh it looks very good so it says to you know hold it down for 10 or 15 seconds or so but i actually held it down for i think it's been like three or four hours um and then i uh i just and i clamped it down for you know three hours or so and i just took it off right now um because i was going to try to put it on but it's so dark that i don't want to you know have a video of me in the dark can't really see much and i don't have a, a light that you could uh you know put in the area so what i'm just gonna do i'm gonna show you the condition of the hood right now and then i'm gonna clean everything up and uh we'll catch you tomorrow so here's the hood so you know this is where all the you know this is where i did all the all the super gluing like all around here you guys remember what it was like the stud is actually not centered i just noticed that right now so that's something we're gonna have to work on tomorrow as well but for what it is, that's good, that's it. That's it for today, so we'll catch you back tomorrow.